I'm Nancy. This is Brenda. We're your care queens. Oh my heavens. I walked into the room and this is how my patient looks. I'm really worried. Has she had any care? Is she comfortable? I'm not really sure, but let's run down all the things that are a problem with this viewing. Okay, first of all, look how high the bed is. She could fall out at any minute. We've got a hard floor. There's only one railing up and her arm is caught in it. She doesn't have a turn sheet on. Her catheter bag is up on top of the bed. She looks uncomfortable. She's agitated. She doesn't even have a call bell to call when she needs somebody. Oh my gosh, I need to help her right now. If you walked into a room like this and saw your patient like this, it doesn't necessarily mean that they haven't had any care recently. Maybe it's time to talk to somebody about getting some medication, something for pain or agitation, because clearly if you've taken care of her, gotten in a good position and you come back 10 minutes later and she's like this, there's something that needs to be adjusted. Okay, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna walk through, remember that you're gonna, I'm gonna tell Brenda everything I'm doing as I'm going, generally. I want you to watch every video we have on all the individual pieces of what I'm going to do for her right now. First of all, I'm gonna leave the bed up because it's gonna help me so I don't hurt my back. I'm gonna tell Brenda that I'm gonna put the head of the bed down and the legs up so that, whoops, wrong one, so that I can use gravity to help her get in a comfortable position. She's gonna be a really cooperative patient for me right now while I do run through all these changes. Okay, so we're putting the head down, knees up. Guess what, there isn't a turn sheet under her. We need a turn sheet so that we can take good care of her. Just happen to have one right here. Her hips are already kind of towards the left, so I'm going to bend her knee up and turn her directly towards me. And I'm going to roll this turn sheet underneath her, pull her up, put it underneath her hips. And then I'm going to turn her carefully to the other side. Now, I'm going to come around this side because I'm afraid if I turned her right now, she might fall out of bed. Let's get this catheter bag unwound. And we're going to bring her safely towards me, bending her leg up, pulling her towards me, so I can get the turn sheet underneath her. Then I will gently bring her back to her back. Guess what, she's still not in a good position. She needs to be pulled up in bed. Watch the video so you know how to do this all by yourself. Come around to the head of the bed. I'm taking the pillow out from under your head, Brenda, and I'm going to move you up higher into the bed. I'm going to use my leverage to pull her up into a good position. Now, if you haven't had an opportunity, flip that pillow so it's nice and comfortable and cool as you slide it under her head. Very good. She's already, her hips are already, again, a little bit towards the far side of the bed. So I am going to turn her and we're gonna leave her on her side in a comfortable position. I'm going to take a pillow and put it behind her back as I use the turn sheet she to pull on, not on Brenda, you know, we don't want to yank on our patient. And look at all these wrinkles. Oh, so uncomfortable. Get those wrinkles off the back. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is put a pillow between her legs so that she's nice and comfortable. Notice that our we are using a catheter that's not really inserted, but you're gonna keep that catheter bag off the side so that it is to gravity drainage. And of course, is the side rail up? Yes, it's good, but it isn't on that side. So let's give her a nice warm cover. And then we're gonna make sure that other side rail is up. We want her to be safe at all times. And the last thing is, guess what? We're gonna ask Brenda, how high would you like to be in bed? Okay, so I'm going to bring her head up and ask her, how high would you like to go, Brenda? A little more. A little more? Yeah, a little more. Okay, and the final act is that we have to bring the whole bed down. So if she does continue to be restless or she 
decides she has to get up to go to the bathroom without help, at least her bed will be in the lowest position and she won't fall out of it. Okay, folks, that's, that's care in a nutshell. When you walk into your room, let's hope you see this.